Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and I'm looking at this very small book today for a longer review. This is from Oxford University Press and it'll be well known to many people. It's from what is now called the Judicial College and the title is a long one, Guidelines for the Assessment of General Damages in Personal Injury Actions. This is the new 12th edition which came out towards the end of 2013 and has now been uh, forwarded by the Honourable Mr Justice Ramsey. This is the book itself, you can see what it is and many of you will probably know this book well. You've got useful uh, amounts of money concerning the quantum in specific cases. The area that many people are involved in uh, cover things such as uh, injury to internal organs, that sort of area, and also things like um, matters concerning uh, orthopaedic issues, such as orthopaedic injuries, that sort of thing. This is, as I say, um, a guideline which includes the 10% uplift which has now come in. Now let me tell you a bit about the book. I'll put it there, the book itself and what, what we've said in our review. Because this is an important book for anybody involved in dealing with infant approvals or anything concerning quantum matters. We are of course now considering the possibility that quantum issues may move away from the accusatorial approach to issues and looking more on inquisitorial uh, values to exactly what we're looking at because much of the case law not, is not necessarily considered by the judiciary but they do actually take a lot of notice of the guidelines which is why it's important to have the book if you practice in this civil area. What we say though is this, this is a clear and logical framework for the assessment of damages in PI cases and every court of course has one. So what are the reasonable levels of compensation for personal injury and how are they assessed? It's always the big question. This book from OUP, now in its 12th edition as I've said, will in the vast majority of cases provide the answers in the form of guidelines. And these of course are very helpful for the judges. Descriptively titled Guidelines for the Assessment of General Damages in Personal Injury Cases, it has become over the years the essential, indeed absolutely fundamental, reference for judges as well as practitioners dealing with PI cases. Now, writing in the Ford, Mr Justice Ramsey describes these well-established guidelines as, quote, the source of essential information for judges and practitioners when considering awards of damages in personal injury cases. He goes on to say that such guidance has become ever more necessary because the awards have become more complex as the litigation challenges uh, increase. Not surprisingly, therefore, a copy of this volume is provided automatically to all judges involved in, in hearing PI cases, and there should be a copy in every court. And it's obvious, therefore, that if you're a PI practitioner, you should acquire your own copy, and it's fundamental to your practice in this area. And I actually enjoy reading the forwards of the new editions because it gives me an up-to-date indication of how the judicial thinking processes are sort of taking place. The new edition is the latest update, this is the 12th edition, on the established and logical framework for the assessment of damages in PI cases, taking into account such factors as inflation and the decisions of the higher courts on quantum. As I've indicated, we may look at this again in the next five years when we look at the court restructuring. Under each category of personal injury, note that there is an additional pre precise and time-saving feature, namely a second column of figures showing the 10% uplift in general damages as recommended by Sir Rupert Jackson. And this, of course, has now been endorsed by the Court of Appeal in Simmons and Castle in 2012. Under the um, expert editorship of a working party from the Judicial College, which was formerly, as you know, known as the Judicial Studies Board, the JSB, the book covers the full spectrum of personal injury, from minor injuries to the most serious life-changing injuries and injuries resulting in death. The included also are injuries resulting in psychiatric and psychological damage, those affecting the senses, injuries to internal organs, orthopaedic injuries, which is where many people um, find this very useful, whiplash and so forth, chronic pain, facial injuries, injuries scarring, 
damage to hair and dermatitis, just to name a few. Publications from the Judicial College are relatively new as um, a, a, an available title um, in terms of the way legal references um, go uh, for these sorts of materials and they've provided invaluable um, support and assistance to those involved in advocacy, uh, certainly in the lower courts, and that's obviously my view. So if you're a practitioner involved in any sort of PI case, and that includes infant approvals as I referred to earlier, especially where quantum could well be the issue, not the liability matter, you should have a copy of this book to hand, uh, bearing in mind that the judge will already have referred to it when he's been looking at the case if you're fortunate enough to have had a judge that's read the papers before you go into court, of course. It is indeed an understatement to refer to this book as both authoritative and indispensable. I've found it invaluable in the 20 odd years in practice and I think that the book itself and um, what we have here is extremely helpful and the way forward, I think in many ways, to get some understanding of how the judges are going to decide cases in the future and, and the way in which we go. Because if you are well prepared right at the beginning, you don't have quite so much of a concern about how the case is going to go. It's also useful to advise the client about this sort of thing as well. So thank you to everybody concerned and especially to Oxford University Press for producing what is invaluable for us as practitioners. Bye bye.